Eleanor Parr Custis Lewis, known as Nellie, was the granddaughter of Martha Washington and the step-granddaughter of George Washington. Childhood Nellie was the daughter of John Park Custis and Eleanor Calvert Custis. Her father was the only surviving child of Daniel Park Custis and his widow, Martha Dandridge Custis, who married George Washington in 1759. She was also the granddaughter of Benedict Swinger Calvert, illegitimate son of Charles Calvert, 5th Baron Baltimore whose mother may have been a granddaughter of George I. He was certainly descended from Charles II through the king's daughter Charlotte Fitzroy by Barbara Villiers. Nellie was most likely born at Mount Airy, her maternal grandfather's estate in Prince George's County, Maryland. Although local tradition holds that she was born at Abingdon, her father's estate in Arlington, Virginia. Following the premature death of John Park Custis in 1781, Nellie and her brother, George Washington Park Custis, were informally adopted by the Washingtons and grew up at Mount Vernon. During George Washington's presidency, Nellie helped entertain guests at the first presidential mansion on Cherry Street in New York City, the second presidential mansion on Broadway in New York City, and the third presidential mansion in Philadelphia. The talented and beautiful young woman often accompanied her grandparents to social events marriage, death and burial. On February 22, 1799, Nellie Custis married George Washington's nephew, the widow Lawrence Lewis, of Fredericksburg, Virginia. The Washington's wedding gift was 2,000 acres adjacent to Mount Vernon, on which the Lewis's built Woodlawn Plantation. Upon her marriage, Nellie Lewis inherited about 80 slaves from her father's estate. Her grandfather, Daniel Park Custis's estate was liquidated following Martha Washington's 1802 death, and Nellie Louise inherited about 35 dower slaves from Mount Vernon. Following the death of her mother in 1811, the John Park Custis estate was liquidated, and she inherited approximately 40 additional slaves. About 1830 the Lewises moved to Audley Plantation in Clark County, Virginia. Beginning in the mid-1830s, they began dividing their time between Virginia and their daughters' homes in Louisiana. Nellie Custis Lewis continued to live at Audley after her husband's death in 1839. Throughout her life, she regarded herself as a preserver of George Washington's legacy. She shared memories and mementos, entertained and corresponded with those seeking information on the first president, and verified or debunked stories. A shaft to the east of the Washington's tomb at Mount Vernon marks her burial site.